Okay, commissioning HTLN. So wake up the controller. And off we go. Field settings, number 10, we go to 1031, press OK, and you need to set this up to 65 degrees C, press OK, then you have to go to 1051, domestic hot water tank temperature, and again set this up to 65 will be enough, OK, then we need to go to return, go to 20 water law, go 2011, and we set minus 15 and 2 degrees C. We're then going to go to 2021. And we're going to set this at 37. And this one here wants at 65. So this is the high temperature for the radiators. And then press OK. Then we're going to go to 20. 30, no, we're then going to go back to 30, we're going to go to 3011 and make it use um, here for hot water. We're then going to go to 3021, which is max temperature, and we're going to wind this up. And on the new controllers, we'll go to 65 degrees C and then press OK. Then we're going to go to the 303 booster and we're actually going to tell it that it does not have a electric booster heater or an immersion because we're not using immersion on this. Then we're going to go back, we're going to go to disinfection, we're not doing this, so we're not using this. And then we're going to go back again and back again and go to 40 heat. And we're going to go to 4051, which is inverter pump. So we are actually going to use the um, inverter pump here. And let's set this to use 100%. Um, and this will tell the unit that it's got a PWM pump. Then you return. Um, you can check these if you like. So target tells T should be 5. So this is the pump speed modulation and the control factor. I'm not sure what this does, but we've left it on two. So then you go return, 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 multiple times. I think it's nine until you come back to the current screen and you are ready to go.